So, welcome back everyone. Um, as I mentioned in last week's video, uh, today is gonna be the big day for the Youngbirds, uh, the first round Youngbirds, uh, you can see right there. Uh, they're more than old enough now to uh, actually start weaning them uh, and putting them on their own loft. Uh, so yeah, that's mainly the main thing we're gonna be doing uh, today. These are the two oldest ones here. Some of the ones that are raised, are raised alone, uh, like the middle one, uh, may even be a little bit bigger, even though they're not as old, just because uh, they get more food. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna be weaning them today. Let's move over to the loft. We're gonna be putting them on. So as many of you guys know, this is the main race loft uh, we race the, the young birds on. Uh, that's also a race loft, but we use that for the yearlings. Uh, so this is the main uh, young bird loft here. So there's still some uh, breeders on here that didn't uh, pair up all that well. But they're not going to be put on this loft, they're going to be put on the biggest one here. Uh, because it's the first round. This is quite hard to open. So yeah, as you can see. I should probably turn the light on here. Uh, I did order some new lights as well, because uh, as you can see the socket is empty. Um, but yeah, we still have one working one. Uh, we're just putting in this heating plate here uh, because it's quite cold and actually froze uh, pretty bad last night so we're gonna be putting that in just uh, so they can sit on top of it and have a little bit of extra heat to keep them warm uh, so yeah off camera we did uh, clean this loft and burn it uh, like we always do uh, so yeah let's uh, start moving them over uh, I, sh I suppose so we're going to be doing it a little bit different uh, in comparison to last year. I just grabbed the basket here, which we're going to put them in. So we can actually grab um, more than two at the same at the same time and then uh, move them over. Because uh, in last year's, uh, it was kind of hectic and all over all over the place. So these are basically six, eleven six siblings here. Uh, just a few years apart so yeah so we're looking at around 15 to 20 birds that we can move over and that's over half uh, of the total birds that we're gonna have so So he did decide to jump out. Now we need all the vlogs of this one. Here, what did they do? That's over the lange. They did that all. That's a deep one. So those are the two oldest ones, and then we do have a few here. This uh, one was obviously raised by foster parents. Uh, as the grizzle is still infertile, so... That's on a grow it, No? Quite important to clean uh, the paws here. Mm. So we got four. Those might be, yeah, they're pretty close to being ready. Those are on the small side, but we might just do it. A 
And then I think we... Oh yeah, we still have some up there as well. So this is one of the few uh, melees. This one I have over there, huh? No. So we do have six already. Those are obviously still too young. So that's another one. More than old enough. Yeah, I see this one uh, stay behind a little bit during growth. So we're not gonna be separating that one, that one yet. It's just a little bit too small still. No. Never gonna be a good one that. Might as well discard of it. No. No. So on this loft we have one last one right there. Mm. So this is the old guy from uh, our grandfather's train itself uh, that we gifted to uh, friends fancier and then we got back uh, this year. So we decided to give one of his chicks to someone else as well, uh, just to try out. And then we have one for ourselves, which is this one. So as you can see, we're on the next loft here now, uh, the one next to the one which we're just in. Um, and we're gonna be taking these. This one's a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit harder to film, uh, but yeah, we got uh, eight three threes right there. Fired up to the grizzle strain. So we're gonna have that, uh, the left loft in the left uh, compartment and then uh, this loft in the right. This one's... It's not good. It's not good for all. It looks just like his grandfather, which is the, the grizzle uh, in the other loft. Hopefully it's gonna be a good one. Uh, we tend to get a lot of females out of the grizzle strain, but I think that one's gonna be a cockbird, just by uh, the size. Oh. And then we have the two reds. I don't think those are melees, but uh, those are actually reds. Uh, right there. So this is from uh, Gebroeder van den Branden and uh, Gert Hale, uh, a mix that we got. Uh, yeah. We'll see We'll see how they do. For some reason that hand still has a little in something uh, in his mouth. But I met the Davin a stuk thing of us. Or is that the end of it? Yeah, that's what I think. And So we got the first white tip one uh, coming up here now. No. So this one's related to 611 as well. Uh, I believe it's a grandchild. So. One white tip, and on a couple white flights, uh, yeah, like three white flights. So that's gonna be easy recognizable. So uh, what I think we're gonna do is we got uh, quite a full basket here now, uh, which we're gonna do is move them over uh, to the main uh, loft already, and then uh, continue upstairs. So we're moving it in now. We do have uh, the heater plugged in. I thought we did. We have somewhere over here. Still that blue? Nope. Still cold. No. Just gonna brush up stuff here. Let me just move over. 
Uh, let's move the feeding tray over a little bit so we can open up the front. Like that. They should uh, they're curl up, curl up nice and warm, but I'm gonna start. Yeah. I'm gonna start grabbing them here. So that's one, two. Don't go back in. This one is really nice feeling. Not the exact same color as the grandfather, but still a nice grizzle. So that's five, uh, the first five. And then we have, I believe we have eight in here. So that would mean we have 13. Doesn't want to go out. There we go. I don't know if any of you are keeping count, but I think I'm not far off uh, when I say it's 13. Oh, one's already in the top box or in the first box. And one's already back there. So let's do a quick countdown. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So yeah, like I said, the first 13. Now let's uh, go ahead and grab the basket and go upstairs. So as you guys can see, we're on the top loft now. We've got a basket and we obviously have uh, a little bit less birds. To move over here as you guys know this took a little bit longer time as you can tell most of them look like about in between 10 and 14 days old but those are obviously old enough one of the grizzles i might just go ahead and grab them myself this is a grizzle but it's a very white one even lighter than that guy so So that's the first one from uh, the top loft and then we got a lot one with white tips but they've loyal my well more so three white flats and then four on the other side I believe. Yeah. So those are gonna be siblings. So then we have this one as well. Mm. So we gifted uh, one of those siblings away as well to a friend fancier. So yeah, we gifted about we will vote. We gifted about ten birds uh, to a friend fancier. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we might have around 17 birds or something to, to separate ourselves. That one looks, yeah, that one's old enough. This one only bred uh, one good egg, so... So this one does have white flies as well and has a little bit of specks on them. And then we got the main main guy over here, uh, 611. So these are gonna be 611's children. Looks like there's gonna be a cockbird and it's a little bit of pencil coloration going on like him. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter, but gonna be pretty close to 611 himself. 
Uh, now we have another one. Whoa. So this one's gonna be a blue with white flights. He always tends to have uh, those, those two colors. No. Okay, let's so then we're getting to the last one. Give me the lock ring in there, So this one's gonna be the last one for today's video. Probably the most the most white we have uh, on a bird, except for the all white one, of course. So that one's gonna be quite nice. It's actually a sibling of the other uh, white one, the last one from downstairs. So. So yeah, uh, if I did. Uh, so there's seven birds in here and 13 downstairs, so we have 20 on the dot. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, take those downstairs. So we're on the loft here now, uh, so we got the rest of them. Let's put them with the other ones. The one with a lot of white here. And then we have the all white one. One with a little bit of flakes. We only have two with flakes here sitting right next to each other. Uh, one of them is gonna be 611 sibling. One with white flights. And then a light blue. Let's close up the basket. So this is what it looks like. This is uh, these are the twenty birds we're gonna start off with. Obviously, some are still in the nest. Um, this loft can hold about thirty, I'd say. Uh, this is the biggest loft that we have in terms of uh, space. Obviously aviary as well but yeah as i said before i'm gonna be taking this loft here the one with the colored fences um we are uh, still have to clean it up uh, and prepare it a little bit i might take second round birds or first round we'll see uh, how things go uh, but yeah so what we will do is we will still uh, put some drink uh, on this loft and then uh yeah, then they'll be good to go, uh, set. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's uh, weaning video. And as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and have a good day.